I don't know. He wants to have me there. What? God help you. God help you! If I come back here and find you still standing there! Where is he? Ola! You put all the gold on your phone. Now the next time you put it on, I will have you penalized. Do you understand that? Yes, ma'am. Now get out of my office. Isn't that guy supposed to be married to your elder sister? So? Yeah, what are you doing this to me? Sonia, I want you to know that I love you. I can't wait to love you. What's going on here? This is your name, Mr. Sonia. Don't have anybody in my life. Do it. I'm very sure. That's what I want you. Sonia, can you go? That's what I want you. We're in the same department. Do you mind if I give him a hug? No, not at all. Thank you. <laughs> Don't worry. We do this all the time in class. I mean, it's no big deal. All right. Justin is a very, very nice guy. He's so nice that all the girls in class cherish him. So I can imagine that you will take good care of him. Right? Guess I'll do my best. Okay. I just think I gotta run now. I'll okay. see you later. Bye. 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 Can we get going now? Betsy. Give it time. Cool. Take some time out to think about it. Or are you so much in a hurry to accept this order? Yeah. I don't think you you still like me after this, but it's just that I've already accepted to thank you. You have done what? Becky, was that supposed to be a slip of tongue? No, Gloria, it's not a slip of tongue. This subject is going crazy. In fact, you are crazy. Betty. For goodness sake, how could you have accepted to this guy you know nothing about? Betty. Betty. Oh, yeah. You seem lost in thoughts. Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm, I'm okay. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, sure. Shall we? What? <laughs> Come on. You're forgetting something here. We have a date. <laughs> no. I don't think I can keep that date, okay? I'm very, very sorry, okay? What? You don't mean what you just said, do you? Look. I'm sorry if I've spoiled your day, but then I can't keep this date, okay? 
I'm very, very sorry. Maybe some other time. It's so surprising how everything turned now. I mean, I called you five minutes ago, and you said you were coming, so we go for the day. How, how, how come you, you changed your mind? Okay, I get it. It's because of Lola, right? It has nothing to do with her. Okay? How come I'm finding it so difficult to believe you? Look, Justin, I've just figured out that I need a lot of time to do a lot of thinking here, okay? I just, I just need to be alone oh. and that's it. But you, you can't do this. Do you understand? I don't, I don't have anything with Lola. See, Lola is just my cosmate. I, I, I don't have anything with her. Come on, can't you see? It's just that I, I look, what you like said. Like I said before, it has nothing to do with Lola or whatever she calls herself. I just want to be alone. What, what part of it don't, don't you understand? God, but you, 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 can't, you can't do this. Come see, on. look, I'm, I'm very, very sorry. I know, I know what this case means to you, okay? But I just can't keep it. All right? I just can't. Let's, maybe we can fix it some other time. Please. Betty, Betty, you're not working out on me. Betty. I don't know what is wrong with my driver. Okay? He's been keeping me. I just asked him to speak to the mechanic and get me some car. But where are we going now, this one? Hmm. Guess what? I'm taking you to the latest and best to keep in town. At this time? Of course. My daddy just gave me a huge amount of money to change my wardrobe. Okay, let's sit over there. All right, then. I get some new things. I know exactly what that means. Well, which brings me to something. I've been really meaning to talk to you about something. You know, Sophie, when are you going to become an independent woman? I mean, like, really become an independent woman. What do you mean by that? Sophie, you're a daddy's girl. Your father practically buys you every single item. The car you drive, the clothes you wear, shoes, the bags, jewelry. Oh, come on, Sophie. I won't even be surprised that he buys you your underwear. Just stop it! Stop it this very minute! You're insulting me. I, I don't mean to, but please. Listen, I work as well. And I earn an income as well. Yeah? How much? That shouldn't be your problem. Hmm. Okay, girl. There's no reason for you to be getting all worked up. I'm your friend, and I just care about you. Please, can we just change this discussion? Please. Okay. In fact, it's really sports language. I'm not going to discuss anything too. Yeah. How about Sophie? Still here. Still here. You were not in class for lectures today. Why? Rita. I don't think lectures is the least thing on my mind right now. Samuel, what are you saying? Have you forgotten that semester exam commences in three weeks? How do you expect to pass if you don't attend lectures? I don't know. Like my whole world has come crashing down. So yeah, I told you. There is no problem without a solution. What's the solution to this one now? How do I go out of this one now? The same person. Tony, you will get your this. Just have it at the back of your mind that it's only going to take time. Yeah. Pull yourself together. Try it here. I said it's okay. Everything will be just fine. Okay. So, I understand what you're going to do, and I know this is too big for you to do. But at this point in time, you cannot afford any form of distraction. It's not that easy. I mean, I live with this problem. Don't you understand? This problem stares at my face every moment of my life. It's easy to pretend all is well. Let me make you understand something. That life is not a bed of roses. As one grows, so is his or our problem. See, 
at this time you have to pull yourself together. Try to do something that will cheer you up. Maybe go to the beach, make yourself feel happy. And I bet you in no time, all your fears and problems will fade away. Now dry your tears. It's okay, Sonia. Keeping me in the dark. Oh. Is this about like, your new guy? Um, what's he called? Justin. So, what about him? You know we're supposed to have a date today. Yeah, I remember you said something like that. So, you know, there was this place we were supposed to, to meet so we start going for the date, but when I got there, girl, I saw something that really shocked me. What is it? I saw a different Justin. He was, he was, he was as if I saw the man behind the mask. Couldn't believe it. Really, I don't understand. Can you believe that I actually saw Justin switching a girl there? Oh my God! Are you serious? <laughs> Not serious. Though. So, what did you do? I cancelled the date, of course, frightened that I needed to be alone. But wait, so this particular girl, he was actually smooching. Hmm? Who is she? <laughs> she introduced herself as, as his classmate. Classmate? Of course, what else is she? And you believe that? Of course not. Mm. As a matter of fact, that was actually why I cancelled the date in the first place. I am so glad you did. Because I've warned you several but you wouldn't listen. See, sometimes people are not actually what they say. Gloria, I agree with you. You know, the last thing I want right now is for what happened between me and Frank to, to, to repeat itself. Now that this situation is on ground now, what do you have in mind to do to this Justin over there? Well, I think I need some time to really watch this Justin guy very closely. You know, it's one said that once beaten, twice shy. I know that, but if you seek my advice as a friend, I would rather let you know you should leave that guy alone. Let him go. No, what you get? Don't say that. I'll handle it, okay? Oh, really? Yeah, I will. Okay. If you say so, but if you do not mind, hmm? I have a special date tonight. Oh, really? Yeah, with a top movie director. Don't say. You know, I told you I won't start acting Oh, come now. on, girl. Yeah, I know that will give me a level to climb up faster. So it's there for you to wake up and leave Chingon boys alone, just like <laughs> Justin. <laughs> Come on, don't say that. That's a fact. Hello, friend. How are you? Oh, good. Yeah, very good. I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> yeah. oh, I want you to take your study very seriously. Yes. Also, that you can come back to the country with good grades. That will make me proud for her. I know you will, son. I believe in you. Hmm. <laughs> okay, dear. Okay. Uh, well, take good care of yourself, all right? Let me hand you back to your mother. Bye. Hello, Richard. Uh, let's not burn your money, okay? I'll call you before the week runs out. Yes, it's all right. Oh, I love you too, my honey. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Richard. Oh, dear. Your coffee has gone cold. <sighs> Darling, you know what? This morning, I sat down and I reflected over everything. Everything like what? Um, everything like everything, like everything that God has done for us. I mean, we have a good life, good family businesses, wonderful children that are making us proud. We have a good health. I guess you're right, Amanda. But uh, why are you saying all this? Well, 
I noticed you are still sad about the contract you wrote a few days ago. Dear, why don't we just, instead of recounting on all the things that God has not done, let's concentrate on praising for the ones he has done. We have the basic needs of life. Yeah, Jesus, we have good life. Let's just be contented. I have about 20 movies to shoot starting from next month. Really? And uh, you know what? I need to make sure you play the lead role in all the 20 movies. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm so impressed. Thank no you. All you need to do now is just to take the line. Hello? Hello? Uh, excuse me. What is that? What do you think you're doing? No, DOP. Let's rotate. Give me a medium close up. Yes. Uh, a medium close up here. Just take it, take it from that angle. Take it from that angle, eh? Great. Uh, just a minute. Let me just let, let me speak to my wife. Hello, dear. Darling, where are you? Oh. We're in the middle of a shoot. Uh, we must conclude this because uh, we have a deadline. Uh, you know, all the sponsors want to put money down for to, to, to shoot a film. They always want the producer or the director to hurry the film up. You kept me worried. Eh? This is 2 a.m. in the morning. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, don't worry. As soon as I'm through with this, I'll come home. Eh? It's already 2 a.m. You know this city is dangerous these days. No, no, I must come. I'm, I can't allow you to sleep alone. It's okay, don't worry. Just take good care of yourself. Find a place to stay. Uh, I'll be all right. All right. If you say so. Okay, I'll join you first in the morning for breakfast, okay? You want me to bring anything for you while I'm coming? Nothing. I have everything. It's just you I want. Okay. I love you. Love you too. Not a single word of what you heard now must reach your friend, John. Uh -huh. But why would that be? I mean, oh, let me guess. You do not want her to know that you are married and that your wife was not dead five years ago just the way you made her believe it. And you still want to give her the impression that both of you could, you know, get together someday. Yeah, I guess you're right. Ah. Okay. You know what? When I came into this movie industry, my aim was and is still to get to the top of this career. I intend to do that through any necessary means. And uh, what does that translate to? I am prepared to keep your little secrets provided that you get me to the top in this business. And I will ask you, do we have a deal? Mm -hmm. Yes, sure, 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 we do. Do we have a deal? I said we do.
Okay, because I thought I was already dressed. It will come in off any moment. It's okay. I've already put that behind me. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, sweetheart. Ugh. What's happening? Nothing, really. You guys have a break for a Oh, yeah. Wow, it smells good. Mmm. Nita. Yes, I do. Aren't you going to school today? Yes, I said, I'm going to school today. I'm going to school today. Darling, yeah? Rita and I just resolved that problem. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. That's nice. <laughs> Beautiful. One can only hope it stays this way for a very long time. <laughs> Don't tell me you're also tired of the situation. More than you can imagine, Susan. <laughs> well, if Rita continues to demonstrate humility, Getting to understand that I'm your wife now and I've come to stay. I don't think we would have any more problems. Uh, I don't think it's all about Rita, Susan. If we all can be more tolerant, these problems will be reduced to the barest. That I can assure you. You might be right. We'll see how we can work around that. <sighs> I can't believe that that could go to the skin. It's like a dream to me. No, why can't you just settle our differences? and fashion out ways to move forward. <sighs> I had to invite your brother over to the house so we could discuss this issue. In the process of our discussion, your father walked in and the whole house was let loose. Mm -hmm. hmm. Mom, what are we going to do? I'm as confused as you are. I've spoken to your father about this issue, but he doesn't want to listen. Sometimes, I just feel this problem has come to stay with us. No, Mom. I refuse to believe you. You have to find a solution to this problem. Whenever you find that solution, please let me know. What is it that you want to talk about? It's just a small family problem. You want to talk about it? I had a problem with my dad yesterday. Your dad? It's a long story. Uh, come on, why not uh, make it brief? You see, my father wanted me to study business administration in the US. And when I said no, there was war, and he said he was never going to sponsor my education in the U.S. Are you serious? When I realized there was a war I wasn't going to win, I decided to play a little trick. I told him I had changed my mind, and I was going to study his choice of study. And um, that's what I told him. He was so happy that he made the money available for me to go to the U.S. and study. <laughs> when I got there, I changed my mind and I read medicine and surgery. <laughs> Imagine you literally told them the truth. <laughs> Not quite. For all the while I was there, everybody thought I was studying business administration. But after my seven years studies, I had to come back home to the country. And when I did, it was time for me to take over management in my father's company. <laughs> I 
I had to tell them the truth. Which is that you studied medicine? Yes. And after that, <laughs> both my life and family have never been the same again. My dad disowned me and threw me out on the street. Are you serious? Engineers are wonderful people. Yeah, they're all trained abroad. Yeah, they're all trained abroad. You can rest assured that you're getting only the best from us. Well, that's our trademark. Uh, okay. Come on, baby. What's the problem? It's not supposed to be a question. You were supposed to come pick me up yesterday. Ah. But as usual, you stood me up. So what are you going to say now? That you were so busy at work that you abandoned me? No, baby. I was going to say I'm sorry. That is the point, Ray. I am simply sick and tired of I'm sorry. Please, I want things to change. It will, baby. When? When you're not even prepared to give you the chance? Ray. It's not just about you or your work. I have feelings too. I understand how you feel. Oh, please just let me finish. I think it's high time we got some things straight in this relationship. I am not happy. I'm not happy at all about the way things are going between us. I know you're not happy. And I understand it. It's just the way work has been here recently. Oh, please, I've been hearing that for the past month now. Ray, I want to be with you. I want to go everywhere with you. I want to spend most of my time with you. I always want to be by your side. And I want to be by your side as well, baby. See, you're the center of my happiness. You make my world turn around. But it's a sensitive job I do, you know? And I have to do my job, baby. I don't know for how long I'm going to put up with this. Well, not for too long, I promise you. You see, the management has made efforts to get new hands. And as soon as they arrive, the workload will be drastically reduced, and we won't have cause to have this discussion anymore. I hope that becomes the case. And I hope it happens real soon. Very soon, I promise you. Uh, sorry, one minute. Hello, Dr. here. Emergency? Okay, no, 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 don't worry. Um, I'll be right back. Yes, I'll be right there. I'll be right there. Listen, baby. I have an emergency at the female ward. Yeah? Just sit back, relax, and I'll be right back. rather unusual for us to see you here. Don't tell me you changed your mind and decided to take employment to your father's company. No, Daddy. Oh, shame. <laughs> Actually, I'm here on an important issue. Ah. Hi, dear. Uh, General Manager. Yes, sir. You have to leave now and come back later. I want to discuss an important matter with my daughter right now. All right, sir. Thank you. Okay, sir. I'll talk to you from the time you okay? Right. Now, what was the important matter you wanted to discuss with me? Dad, I was with Mom a while ago. She told me what happened between you and Raymond. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You mean you left your husband's house to come here and talk to me about that fool? That, that, that bastard? Dad, isn't it obvious that you're blowing this issue out of proportion? 
fully. If all you've come to do here is talk to me about that fool, then you better use that door. Go on. You? Are you asking me to leave your office? As a matter of fact, yes. Haven't I told you never to mention that fool's name in my presence? But that is your son. It's not my son. Daddy, I think you're being irrational here. With all due respect. Listen to me, young woman. I don't care what you think. Raymond is not one of all of Atmos's children. And if I had my way, I would do away with him permanently. Dad! Sweet, uh, I'm so sorry I kept you with him. Come on, baby. Okay. What can I do to make you happy? Let me buy you lunch. <laughs> so that your hospital people will call you and you now abandon me at the restaurant. Is that it? Just forget it. It's not that bad, baby. Listen, listen, please. Let's just talk about something else, okay? What about your friend, Dr. Tony? It's fine. I guess it's um, in his office. I would really love to meet his wife in Abuja. Why? I would like to ask her some questions, you know. I want to know how challenging it is being married to a medical doctor. Come on, baby. This is ridiculous. Maybe to you, but it's very important to me. You see, I really do not know her, but I kind of admire her. I can't be married to a man who is working outside the state that I'm in. It's bad enough that I don't get enough attention from my man, but having him away is something I just cannot stand. I see. I guess it has to do with understanding. You see, Tony's wife is making sacrifices for their future. Believe me, Ray, that is one hell of a sacrifice I would not take. Really, even if I'm forced to do it. For Christ's sake, every woman wants to be with a man. I understand. Raymond, you lied to me for seven years. He wasted my resources while studying in the U.S. But he's a medical doctor. The qualified medical, medical, medical doctor, doctor my foot. Dad, I've never implied that what Raymond did was the right thing by lying to everybody. But this has lingered more than enough. We have to find a way to end this quarrel. Fumi, you know what I think you should do? I think you should go home and look after my granddaughter. Forget that foolish boy, Raymond. Daddy. This is the only family that we have. If we continue like this, we're going to head for a disaster. Please, Dad. You're you have to find a way to let go. You're talking nonsense for me. How can you be talking about letting go when, when, when that hopeless brother of yours made me waste my hard-earned money? Money is not all there is to life. So this family. So there is peace of mind and there is happiness. And am I happy? Do I look like a happy man to you? If anything happens to me today, all of the things you see around me will go down the drain. Everything I have fought for, I have labored for all my life. It's not going to be that way, Dad. Yes, Raymond has taken to medical practice. And unfortunately, Nambi has prevented me from working. But there is still Joko and Justin. And again, my husband Nambi is still here. Please, Daddy. All hopes are never lost. Please. Well, maybe you've made some sense. But it really doesn't matter. You know me very well, Fumi. I never go back on my decisions. 
So what happens to the joy we're supposed to have as a family? I don't want to talk about this. Dad, Raymond is your son. You have to find it in your heart to forgive him. Please. For me. I think we've given this mother as much attention as it deserves. So, if you don't mind, I have a lot of work to do today. Enough of this nonsense! Don't you understand simple English anymore? I said, leave my office! Come on, go, 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 go! I have to enjoy my money. I can't let one stupid girl somewhere spoil my day. What are you doing now? Hmm. Well, <laughs> I hope you know what I'm thinking. What are you thinking? I hope that your bitchy has not turned you down. No way. Why they do you? Sure? For this school? Man, nobody turns me down. Have you forgotten that this campus belongs to people like us? <laughs> Why they... Talk like this. If that is the case, then why are you so worked up? Yeah. Can you believe that she she cancelled the date? <laughs> are you serious? You know, funny. See, let me tell you. I was with Lola like five minutes to the time we're supposed to go for the date. You no, know, was smooching, kissing Lola and all that. So Betty now came and saw me. She cancelled it straight. Just a bad must go. <laughs> I want God, you never change. Ooh, you need to tell me he had a date with a girl. The same girl found you smooshing another girl, the same place you were meant to meet. What a coincidence. Always to your player. I want you on that. Don't be my fault. I want you on. I want you on. Oh boy. Mm. But, you know what I think? I think you eventually lose that girl. I did you. I did you talk like this. For this school. When I'm not tested that which is meant to be tested, if you know what I mean. Are you sure? Oh boy, I know feet. See, let me tell you, I can bet my life to it. I'm going to do to her what I did to the girls that came before her. Mm -hmm. And I promise. Mm -hmm. I will give you the gist. No problem. I know feet need Sam. I know feet need Sam. No problem. No problem. Sit down. Make yourself comfortable. Who is safe? It went out on an official assignment. Oh, okay. Yes. Um, sweetheart. I must say that seeing you here in this office today is quite a surprise. I mean, you never mentioned it to me that you'd be coming here when I was leaving home this morning. Yeah, you're right. Actually, something came up. Oh. I hope it's nothing too serious. I'm afraid it is, Melanda. My mom came over the house some hours ago and told me something that I never expected to hear. And what is it? It's about Raymond. He had problems with my dad yesterday. I mean, Raymond having problems with your dad is no news. We've always had problems. This time he took a different dimension. My dad almost shot Ray. What did you say? Your dad almost shot Ray? Why? Why would he do that? Monday, I'm doesn't sleep over this. I don't understand what's happening anymore. I know how difficult this must be to you now, but you have to take things easy, all right? I, I believe that everything will be all right. I believe that somehow 
that some way there will be a solution to all these problems. I want to believe that too. I want to believe that my father will do away with this anger and say things the way they used to be. I want to believe that peace will return in our lives and family again. And it will be that way. Believe me, okay? All right? There is always a solution to any problem. All we have to do is seek it. Okay? So you just take it easy. Alright? I don't want you to worry anymore. Okay? Yeah. Then... Yes, Linda, what is it? The director wants to see me in the office. Okay, uh, tell her to give me a few minutes. I'll be with her. I have a very important gift in my office right now. Thank you. I guess that's what matters. No, no, there are other things that matter here. There is companionship. And of course, there is intimacy. Okay, baby. You win. I give up. I know what I'm saying. Really, really, I really do know what I'm saying. Please. I know, baby. And I say you win. I give up, okay? Come on. I'm hungry. Let's go have lunch. Oh, come on, baby. Let's go have lunch. We'll go to your favorite restaurant, okay? Okay. As long as the hospital will not call you and you start rushing back and abandon me at the restaurant. No, baby. It hasn't gotten to that yet. Come on. Let's go. Sweetheart, I honestly believe your father went about this whole thing the wrong way. People get angry, yes? But up to the extent of wanting to shoot someone with a gun, one son for that matter, I think I see that as terribly, terribly bad, believe me. Many a times I've closed my eyes and wished that this was not happening to us. I can't explain why no one is prepared to listen. I can't explain why we have found ourselves in this situation when we could have made the best use of it. I can't explain what is wrong with us as a people. Honey. What is the meaning of this rubbish? Why not you told that I wanted to see you in my office? I was told quite all right. But just then, my wife walked in and so I had to attend to her. Is your wife more important than the progress of this country? I said your father, Jokotade. Are you out of your mind? Do you realize that you're talking to my husband? Husband, my son. Please, don't do this, please. Please, don't do this, please. It's okay, please. Now, no, please, go. Go. Me, please, what is this now? Please. So, what does it mean? It's okay, it's okay. I didn't have the time to trade work with a housewife. What? Please, please. It's okay. Did you hear that? Fine, please, please. Precisely. But I've come to the conclusion that moving in with my aunt was the wrong move. But I don't understand why some men are without scruples. Why would a man want to sleep with his wife's snake? What's the solution to this? Do I tell my aunt? 
the wood has been the best project, but how do you think she would feel? I mean, apparently this has been the man she has built her whole world around. And the same who has presumably stood behind the face of adversity. I don't know. Basically, this is the most trying time of my life. I just wish this whole thing is a dream. That someone would just wake me up and tell me it really is. See, the solution out of this is when you stand your ground. Do only that which you know is right. Getting to that man's craving is no way an option. You're absolutely right, Rita. The only option I have is to keep saying no to Uncle Jack for mm -hmm. as long as it takes. Auntie Laraba is the best human being I've ever known. She's been nice, not just to me, but to my mother and siblings in the village. The last thing I want to do is cause her pain. Yeah. Let's go through this course. Thank you. All this will become pain for the past. Don't let it bother you, huh? Okay, just wait for. Yes, Claudia. Yes. What do you want me to make for me for dinner? Dinner? Anything that you can lay your hands on here, okay? Hmm? Yeah. Right, I'll be with you guys. Mm -hmm. I love you. I love you too, darling. Right, okay. Yes, yes. Hey, Hi, 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 Hi. Oh, Hey, Hi. Hey, 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 I got something for you. Yeah. What is this? Um, why don't you open it and see? Wow, this is beautiful. Thank you, Daddy. I'm so glad you like it. This must have cost you a fortune. Not you can be too expensive for me. Thank you. And I make it up for you. Okay, yeah, that's a good thing. Yeah. Susan, what is the problem with you? I think the question should rather be, isn't that wristwatch too expensive for a girl of Rita's age? Susan, Susan, nothing can be too expensive for you, Rita or Junior. The reason why I work so hard is because I want to provide you all with the good things of life. But darling, don't you think throwing money around all in the name of getting us with the good things of life is not the ideal thing to do? We've got bills to pay. Don't you understand? The only thing I understand right now is you are making my evening here miserable. But darling, how can you Sugar, do that? Please, please. Just give me a break. I don't consider any deal. You know. I see what's wrong with daddy. And why don't you ask him? Precious daughter. <laughs> 